and things up this Sunday morning and when Vusi Mfupi needed a way to tell South Africa's unique human interest stories, he turned to painting. Today he's an acclaimed painter who has told stories about language, teenage pregnancy, drugs, alcohol and HIV and AIDS. Vusi is in studio to take us through his journey so far. Good morning to you, Vusi. Thank you for joining us here on the South African Morning. I don't know if I should describe, if, if describing you as a painter is accurate because you don't actually use paint to create these beautiful um, artworks. Mm, good morning and good morning to the uh, viewers at home. Mm -hmm. And thank you for having me. Uh, I regard myself as a painter because okay. uh, when I was at school, uh, at school, I majored in painting and because of the love of working with kids uh, and going to school, because art material tends to be very expensive. Mm. That's when uh, I went to tell them to bring magazines. Then, because the only thing we needed is color, then that's where the, the love of working with paper started. And since from then, I never look back. Oh, yes, I'm a collage artist, but then I regard myself as a painter because I replaced paper, like paint with paper. You yeah. replace paint with paper. Well, yeah. your artworks are absolutely stunning. We have three of them in studio with us. And I can't believe that what I'm looking at mm -hmm. is pieces of paper that's been put together mm -hmm. to create these beautiful artworks. But let's talk a little bit about your love for art, yeah. your love yeah. for painting, and yeah. what, what prompted you to go and then study art. Was it always a passion for you growing up? You know what, uh, uh, as a youngster, I, I used to love drawing, but then we never saw art as a career. Mm. That's why maybe one is going, since after graduating, I've been going to schools because we needed to be guided. The only careers that we were taught, like I, I saw myself as a future accountant, but then I would regard myself as a victim of unemployment. And thanks God it happened because I had to do soul searching and to get to know who I am. And since then, uh, we had a, an art, like it's a, it's a, we opened in 1997, it's a, it was a youth formation. Mm -hmm. I was co-founder of that formation. That's where the love of art, I was working with Am Amachita. And because we saw the need, we, can, we cannot just go there and empower. There are guys who went to school, they had, uh, already studied. Then 97, I then realized, you know what, because we want to give back, why not we go to the college? That's when I went to Funda mm. Center and studied art, and I did one year at uh, teacher training on art methodology, so that after graduating, I could be able to go back and give back and do what they didn't do to us. Mm. Yeah, because uh, I think we're building it's a culture here that we're mm. building of, of entrepreneurs, hustlerpreneurs, because mm. I regard myself And also as making it accessible to yeah. people who didn't even think that it was possible to go down that route. Uh, someone once said, you can't be or do what you can't see. So it's important for young mm. people to see people uh, from where they come from doing things like this to make them realize that, wait a minute, this is possible. This is exactly. something that I can aspire to as mm. well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Vusi, you, you mentioned that um, your art was born out of necessity. Yes, yes. What, yes. what do you mean by that? Uh, what I mean is that uh, because of uh, the, the love of working with kids, uh, art material, like I said, is very expensive, and we needed to give something to these kids. Uh, right now, uh, the, 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 I'm seeing the, the results of, mm. of going to those schools. These kids... These youngsters are now becoming entrepreneurs on their own, you know. Uh, it, it helps you to think, not out of the box, we remove the box. Mm. It helps you to think and make use of, recy especially recycling material. Mm. I've, been to, I've been, I've managed, man, I lived all my life with recycling and it's doable. And, and I, I love that about you. I love that you're actually upcycling and, and, and recycling. Exactly. Let's let's talk about some of your your images here, your your artworks here. Yes. Um, what do you what what inspires you to create this? Just talk us through these three. Let, um, let's talk about the, the 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 portrait. The that one at portrait, the top. Yes, it was 2016. Mm -hmm. South Africa. Uh, they banned around 30 schools in Vuan in Limpopo, 
And for me, it was very sad to see those institutions going down. And as an artist, it was like picking up the pieces and mm. saving the lives of these kids. And I painted their portraits. Because uh, tomorrow they had to go to school and there were no schools, you know. I painted their portraits just to save their lives. And for me, it was it, like it was uplifting because uh, it was sad. Yeah, it was really sad. And it's and interesting that, that the, the papers you use here, you mentioned that these are papers that you've, you've burned as well. Just paper, yeah. I, those that ones, I burned them because of, yeah, literally. Well, my work, it's, a, it's, a, like it's been a metaphor between water and fire. Mm. Right now in South Africa, if you can look, we've been having a shortage of water. Yes. We've been having a lot of protests, a lot of burnings of institutions there and there. Then... Uh, I like telling beautiful stories. I don't literally go and capture those images. My duty is to capture my, the daily lives, what we're doing, what we, of course, we go going to hustle every day. Yeah. We wake up and go and hustle. And my only way is to pick up, like, tell those stories. Yeah, yeah you tell know. those stories that yeah. we're seeing unfold day to day. Pussy, if, if, are, your, are your paintings for sale? If someone is seeing them, this morning and, and has an yeah, interest Yeah, no, they in are them. for sale. They are, they are for sale. Yeah, they are for sale. Uh, I, I work with numerous galleries. Yeah, some, some you can go to the galleries. I do have some works in my studio. Right now we have a show in London. Yeah, it's, it's all over then, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So, uh, you know, thank you for, for blessing us and lightening and brightening up our studio this morning with your beautiful artwork. I really wish you uh, all of the best. Thank you for telling these very important stories and showcasing your beautiful talent uh, in this creative way. You are extremely talented. No, and thank I just want to so encourage much. you to keep going. I know that the arts is not an easy industry. It's not, but, especially um, in South Africa. It's very, very tough to take up art as, uh, as a profession. Yeah. Mm, but you, you just have to be strong and go out there and. Love what do you're it. doing. Yeah. No, definitely. You're, in, you're an inspiration to many young um, and aspiring artists. So yeah. continue doing this amazing and no, beautiful I'll do work. That. And it was lovely to have you in studio. Thank you so much. My absolute pleasure. That was Vusi Mfupi on his impressive pieces of art and just how he tells these various stories through art. Thank you very much.